punching a good umpire, it's important to have the proper demeanor. Really important, I think, to walk in the other's shoes, whether it be the other litigants, uh, the litigants of the case, the other judges, to understand them, to keep our emotions in check, to be calm amidst the storm. On the bench, to, to put it in the vernacular, don't be a jerk. I think that's important. Uh, to be a good umpire and a good judge, don't be a jerk. That was Judge Kavanaugh speaking in 2015 uh, at the law school at Catholic University. Uh, a longer transcript of that speech was just published by uh, reporter David Corn at Mother Jones Magazine. That speech from 2015 was already a little bit famous because that's the speech where Judge Kavanaugh veered off script a little bit and said, what happens at Georgetown Prep stays at Georgetown Prep, and that's been a good thing for all of us. Uh, and that got a flurry of attention last week. But in that same speech, Kavanaugh goes on and on about how important it is for a judge to, quote, keep our emotions in check, to be calm, to have the proper demeanor. All this stuff about how a judge must comport himself or herself if he or she actually wants to be part of the federal judiciary at every level. Let me run through what I think an um, a judge as umpire means. First, and probably most obviously, uh, not being a political partisan. You have to check those political allegiances at the door when you become a judge. You have to shed them. It's very important at the outset for a judge who wants to be an umpire to avoid any semblance of that partisanship, of that political background, of that background they might have had in a particular uh, line of work. That's the first, probably most fundamental thing for a judge who wants to be an umpire. That is Brett Kavanaugh's own standard for what the, the fundamentals are of a judicial temperament. For several of the Democratic members of this committee at my hearing a few weeks ago was an embarrassment. But at least it was just a good old-fashioned attempt at working. Those efforts didn't work. When I did at least okay enough at the hearings that it looked like I might actually get confirmed, a new tactic was needed. Some of you were lying in wait and had it ready. You've tried hard. You've given it your all. No one can question your effort. But your coordinated and well-funded effort to destroy my good name and destroy my family will not drive me out. What goes around comes around. This has destroyed my family and my good name. A good name built up through decades of very hard work and public service at the highest levels of the American government. This whole two-week effort has been a calculated and orchestrated political hit, fueled with apparent pent-up anger about President Trump and the 2016 election, fear that has been unfairly stoked about my judicial record, revenge on behalf of the Clintons 